Hello everyone, welcome to day 28 of 30 day challenge of learning Tableau from scratch and in today's video we are going to talk about LOD expressions. LODs are called as level of detail expressions, level of detail expressions. So what is important here for us to understand is, you know, first thing is uh, at which level and the granularity or granularity third one is aggregation so these are the few things that you need to take in consideration whenever you are trying to implement an lod expressions in your project okay so these are lod's are considered as one of the powerful concepts and also they are little complex to understand so to make that easy we can think in these lines that will make your job easy in writing an lod expressions so now anything that you write in flower braces tableau will consider that as lod expressions okay so remember this point now this lod expressions are of four types one is fixed lod second one is include lod and third one is exclude lod so these are the commonly known lod types but there is also an another lod which can be applied at a table level that is called as a table scoped lod okay now what is important in these types of you know expressions different types of expressions so go with the name here you know understand the basic term that it is trying to tell fix fixed LOD which means you are fixing at the level of dimension you need you are fixing the aggregation at the le level of dimension you need okay so I'm just writing fixing the aggregation at the dimension level we need okay so this will go with what is there in the view. So whenever you are using a fixed LOD expressions, always remember that, you know, whatever the dimensions you are specifying in the LOD expressions, they have to be used in the view as well. So view plus your calculation, they should be available. Then only your fixed LOD will work, okay? So again, I'm trying to repeat whatever the dimensions you are specifying in the calculation, you have to use that in the view. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay. Second one is include LOD. Include means whatever the dimension is there in the view plus the dimension you are specifying in the calculation like that you can tell so that is why include that lod or like whatever is there in the view minus the dimension is your exclude lod okay so i'm just trying to write so maybe i'll try to write in the view plus dimension specified here what we can do is in the view minus the dimension specified so table scope is on the whole like on the entire data set you can use it this is a table scoped lod so now let us go ahead and see what how we can create an lod expression so for that i'm taking you uh, to our standard data set which is called as sample superstore and suppose you want to create an lod expressions on maybe i want to create on a category and a sales so the one method of creating is hold that dimension or select that dimension use control button to select multiple items right click on that go to create and you will see lod calculation so when you directly click on that Tableau will create an LOD expression automatically. So this is one easy way to create. But if at all you don't want to find that, you can simply, you know, write a calculation also. I'm just trying to take my category here and some of sales, maybe I'll drop it here. Okay, so I want to create an LOD expressions. So I'm naming it as LOD expressions. 
okay and anything that you write in flower braces like say like i said flower bracket start with the one flower bracket first is fixed this fixed is called as scoping word okay it is followed by the dimension that you want okay so i'm trying to write as category is my dimension colon it should be followed by a colon then one aggregated field sum of sales okay and end it simple okay so if i try to add it in the view this will become your lod expressions it is giving you the same result that way you can use here okay so this is one way of writing lod expression but i i told you one thumb rule that whenever you are trying to use an lod expressions it should be like whatever you are specifying here should be used in the view right so i have specified category here in the calculation but i'm not trying to use that now see here it works on the whole it is get, trying to give you a different calculation here okay so that way it is important so even if i try to build at a multiple level okay now category comma subcategory i'm giving or maybe subcategory i'll give just to make your job easy okay so this is you are fixing it a subcategory but i'm not using that now the calculation is not working okay so that way so whatever you are specifying should be used in the view and if at all you want to pass multiple you can all also do that so multiple dimensions i want to pass so so you can specify like scoping word followed by dimension one comma dimension two followed by aggregation click on apply so you are fixing at a category level and at a subcategory level like that so if i fix it cut cut category level and i go to uh, any different level of aggregation like say i am fixing my aggregation at a category level so this level i fixed now i'm trying to drill down at a subcategory level you see my aggregations are still fixed at a category level only because i have specified that at that level you no matter what is my level of aggregations like that okay so this is your fixed one suppose you want to find out table scoped lod you can also write something like this i'm not specifying any dimensions here and uh, even then it is valid now this will give me a different result here this is giving me a result on the whole okay it is giving me result on the whole because i haven't specified any dimensions that is one thing that you that you guys have to remember i can write it like this or even i can write something like this i'm not specifying any scoping word this is also valid so this becomes your table scoped lod now even now it is giving us the same result okay so this way also you can write here okay so these are your fixed type of lod expressions now same like how we have fixed lod we can also use in uh, include lod here include uh, i'm just specifying include subcategory colon sum of sales i can specify something like this also so you are including at a subcategory level you are including at a subcategory level now if i go try to drill it down it works like that so if at all you want to exclude manufacturer from the view and you want to consider only till then then you can use exclude okay now your results are little different here these are at a subcategory level okay so these things that you need to understand how your aggregations are working when you have you know this fixed include or exclude okay then you can try to experiment with this so you can also write nested lod expressions and then try to find out the values like say i want to find out the minimum value of this okay so for that i want to find out what is the minimum value at manufacturer here okay or we can go at a 
at this level also at whatever the level we want so for that what i'm trying to do is first trying to find out the sales at manufacturer level okay so what i'm trying to do fixed i'm trying to use category comma subcategory comma manufacturer okay and at this level i'm trying to find out what is my aggregation okay so so sum of sales i'm trying to do sum of sales and i'm closing it now this will give me a uh, this will give me sales at manufacturer level okay so see here my this value and this value is fine uh, matching but i want to find out minimum value from manufacturer like say what is the minimum value here it is at uh, 1901 i want this value to come up or 1661 okay so for each subcategory what is the minimum manufacturer that we want so how am i trying to find out is I'm trying to use an again fixed at category comma subcategory at this level. I'm trying to do min of so whatever the result is coming at this level. Okay, so let us see if this will give us the desired result. Now you see uh, we are getting the same value. So for every subcategory item under category it is giving us the minimum category so this way you can write your nested lod expressions as well okay so i hope you have learned something new if at all you are looking for a very detailed video on youtube you can you know check out my video where i have discussed many scenarios and it is quite lengthy so it is like almost one hour i have discussed more than 10 use cases here that are implemented in real time maybe you can go ahead and watch this and you know it will definitely you know increase your knowledge on lod so with that said i'm ending my today's video i hope you have learned something new if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day